Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And in this video tutorial, I've got a really cute money holder for you. This is a little gift box that holds both a box of gum as well as a folded up U.S. dollar bill. So that's U.S. currency. It's a perfect fit for this box and is a great little gift to give for the holidays or you can certainly change this up for birthdays or teacher gifts. It's a fun little box. Now you might recognize the design. It's very similar to my project from last week's video. This one is in landscape mode and has a little bit of a different purpose. So let me show you how easy this is to make. We're gonna start with a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock that measures five and one eighth by seven and one eighth. And you can get two of these out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11. Along the five and one eighth inch side, we're gonna score this at half of an inch and one inch from both sides. So just rotate it 180 and again, half of an inch and one inch. And then on the seven and one eighth inch side, we're gonna score this at one and three quarters and two and a quarter, again from both sides. So rotate it 180, one and three quarters and two and a quarter. Next, I'm gonna fold and burnish on the score lines. I've got a template for you here. Both of the top and the bottom in portrait mode are the same size, so you just can pick either side to be your top or bottom. Let's start on the bottom. I'm gonna come in two score lines from the right, and I'm gonna cut up to the second horizontal score line. And then what we're wanting to do is create this downward tab. So I'm gonna turn it a quarter of a turn. I'm coming in two score lines, but only cutting up one score line then coming in one score line and cutting up two score lines. And then we're just gonna come in and notch this little section out. And by doing that, it'll also remove that little outside square. Okay, so we've basically freed up this little tab here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm coming in two score lines, cutting up two score lines, then turning it a quarter of a turn into up one, in one, up two, and then notch this little tab out like so, okay? Now focusing on the top, turn it this way, we're gonna come in two score lines and cut up two score lines. Turning it a quarter of a turn, coming in two and cutting up two, and we're basically removing these four sections on the corner. Do the same thing to the other side, into and up to, turning it a quarter of a turn, into and then up to. Okay. Now using the detailed trio punch, I'm gonna round the top two corners of the section that doesn't have those two tabs. Like so. Then I'm gonna fold this on the second score line so we've got a flat edge along here and I'm gonna round these outside corners. Now these rounded corners are just for aesthetic purposes. They're not a requirement. So if you don't want the rounded corners, there's no need to do them. But now our piece looks just like our template. Now I have three pieces of the Christmas Time Is Here designer series paper. These two pieces measure one and five eighths inch by three inches, and this piece measures two and a half inches by three inches. You can get enough pieces out of one sheet of six by six to make two boxes. Now one of the smaller pieces, we're gonna round the top two corners. This paper is not directional, so it really doesn't matter which way you cut it, but if your pattern paper was directional, you wanna make sure that all three pieces are in landscape. All right, now we're just gonna glue these pieces onto the outside of the box, like so. And I'm just gonna use multi-purpose liquid glue to do that. Now that all that is glued down, I'm gonna come in with some tear and tape, and I'm just gonna put a little piece right up to the score line on those little tabs. You don't need a lot, just a little. And then on the back side, the section that doesn't have the rounded corners, we're gonna run tear and tape right up the edges. 
but I'm stopping at that first score line here. Just like that, okay? So let's start with the little tabs using the take your pick tool and I'll pull the backing off of those. If you have any excess tear and tape, just fold it back onto itself. Then we're gonna meet up this score line with this cut edge to form the box corner and that tear and tape will stick right away. Same thing on the opposite tab, like so. All right, now I'm gonna put the money in there as well as the big red. That's gonna give us some leverage to close up this box. Now I can remove the backing off the tear and tape here. And then just kind of folding in these edges. We have the gum kind of as leverage here and then we can just fold up the bottom and line that right up into place like so. I'm then gonna use a 5 8 of an inch thin clear fastener by Velcro. I found these on Amazon. I have already sandwiched together the hook and the loop side. I'm gonna peel the backing from the loop side and then we're gonna place that right up to the edge of that top flap. Then I'll remove the backing from the hook side. And then we can just close this box to get that to go right where we want it to go. And I'll just gently pull it apart, press those into place again, and that's ready to close. Before we do that, let's grab the Cherry Cobbler Diagonal Stripe Ribbon. I'm just gonna feed that right under the flap there. Closing this flap is gonna give us a little bit of leverage. And then I'm just gonna tie a bow. And then to keep my bow where I want it to stay, I'm just gonna pick up a mini glue dot and hide that under the knot. And that's gonna stay put. Now let's do a little bit of stamping. We're gonna use the Holly Jolly Christmas stamp set and the Sentiment Believe. I'm gonna stamp that on Very Vanilla in Cherry Cobbler. And then I'm gonna die cut it using this die from the Stitched Labels dies. It perfectly fits around the word believe. Go ahead and do that. And there's what that looks like. It's got some great stitching and scalloped edges. And then I'm just gonna adhere that to the front of our box using liquid glue. Just to that lower right corner. And then I'm gonna add a little rhinestone from the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And that's gonna go over the dot over the eye to give this project a little bit of bling. And there we have our little money holder sized perfectly to fit a pack of gum and a folded US dollar bill. I love how sweet this little gift is. Great for the holidays coming up, but also perfect for birthdays or teacher appreciation gifts. Really easy to change up this project for different occasions. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements, details, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. I have options to subscribe to my newsletter as well as my blog updates, and I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is the ultimate bundle, and I'd love to welcome you to my team of Paper Pixies. You can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com slash join. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can submit a catalog request at thepaperpixie.com slash catalogs. And if you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.